Hello everybody. So in this video I describe our approach for profiling fake news spreaders on Twitter. Uh, as you can see in the simple figure, our well our approach was very simple. So first of all, what we did was for uh, for all the for all the tweets that, that a user uh, for all the tweets that a user uh, yeah, that, that a user wrote, we got the word embedding representation for each of the words and we got an average word embedding capturing in that way the average semantic or average semantic content that that user uh, that user wrote also we also used a bag of, a bag of part of speech text getting like approximately the, the 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 part of speech text that that user used and also we used the average length of tweets and the uppercase and lower uppercase letter ratio assuming that for example uh, uh, that that fake news spreaders and non-fake news spreaders, they would differ in the number of uppercase letters that they used. And then, well, with those simple features, what we did was we trained several models and we found out that the, the random forest model was the, was the best one uh, by, by, training, by checking it in cross-validation. So then, that's how we decided to use those features and, the random for, uh, and a random forest classifier. And then in the in the cross validation uh, experiments, we get an uh, result an accuracy of 0.679 for English and 0.81 for Spanish. And then in the test results, we got 0.69 of accuracy and 0.725 of accuracy for English and Spanish, respectively. Thanks for watching the video.